The Maudsley Motor Company was a British vehicle maker based in Coventry. It was founded in 1902 and continued until 1948 when it was taken over by the Associated Equipment Company AEC and along with Crossley Motors the new group was renamed Associated Commercial Vehicles ACV Limited. Topic: Early History The company was founded by Cyril Charles Maudsley, great-grandson of the eminent engineer Henry Maudsley to make marine internal combustion engines. He was joined by his cousin Reginald Walter Maudsley who soon left to found the Standard Motor Company. The engines did not sell very well, and in 1902 they made their first engine intended for a car which was fitted to chain-drive chassis. The three-cylinder engine, designed by Alexander Craig was an advanced unit with a single overhead camshaft and pressure lubrication. In 1902, Maudsley Motors made a petrol railway locomotive for City of London Corporation to draw trucks from the London, Brighton and South Coast Railway to the Corporation Meat Market at Deptford, this requiring 50 tonnes to be drawn up a gradient of 1 in 36. It was fitted with a three-cylinder engine developing 85 bhp at 450 revolutions per minute, with cylinders of 9-inch bore and stroke. Transmission was via a two-speed change gear. The locomotive weighed 12 tons, and was provided with an 8-horsepower auxiliary engine which was used to start the main engine. This was the first commercially successful petrol locomotive in the world. The three-cylinder engine was followed in 1903 by a six-cylinder version, possibly the first overhead camshaft six to go into production. For 1904 a range of cars was on offer, including one with a 9.6-litre version of the six-cylinder engine. The cars were among the most expensive on the British market. As well as cars the company made commercial vehicles with the first double-decker bus produced in 1905 and a range of trucks varying from small two-cylinder models to six-ton models. In 1912 Maudsley supplied a 40-horsepower engine to power an early petrol-electric railcar, a side-valve engine was introduced in 1914. <laughs> World War I. Private car production stopped with the outbreak of war. Five and six ton lorries had been supplied to the British War Office in 1913, and these, along with a three ton model, became the main product during hostilities. In addition, aircraft undercarriages were made, as well as reconditioning work carried out on radial engines. Production of complete engines was started in 1918. Topic: Interwar years. Despite the advent of peace in 1918, private car building was not resumed, apart from a solitary example of an advanced sports car, shown at the 1923 London Motor Show. Heavy goods vehicles were the main line and some were modified for passenger carrying. A breakthrough came in 1924, when a low-level coach chassis was introduced. A significant product was the SF40 front-engine coach chassis, with set-back front axle, which came onto the market in 1934. It achieved quite successful sales figures until the advent of World War II. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> World War II and after. All civilian vehicle production stopped in 1939, and the company turned out general service vehicles, tank and aircraft components. In 1941, virtually all production was transferred to a new works at Great Alm, near Ulster to escape air raids, however, some production remained in Coventry, and when the factory was bombed in the Coventry Blitz several people were killed there, the Great Alm works would be known as Castle Maudsley. Automotive production remains at this site for many years. During the 1990s brakes and axles for automotive manufacturers like Volvo and Renault heavy vehicles were produced there, and Arvin Merita, the company that once owned the Castle Maudsley site, maintained a small office and manufacturing facility there until the site was eventually demolished and is due to become Maudsley Park, a housing development correct at 2014. A completely new range of heavy vehicles with four, six and eight wheel chassis as well as luxury coaches was introduced. Castle Maudsley at Ulster would make components, and these would be taken to the parkside, Coventry Works for Vehicle Assembly. Topic. Merger 
In 1948, Maudsley joined AEC and Crossley in the new Associated Commercial Vehicles ACV Limited. The name was kept on at first, but in 1950 it was phased out. The Maudsley plants continued to assemble AEC-designed models in the 1950s and there were some badge-engineered Maudsleys to give AEC extra space at motor shows. After the formation of Leyland Motor Corporation the Castle Maudsley plant produced axles, being sold in the late 1970s to Rockwell. In 1942, three of Henry Maudsley's grandsons commemorated their grandfather's name by forming the Maudsley Society, an organization to encourage young engineers. Two. Topic. See also List of car manufacturers of the United Kingdom